and you have a message that you really want to share and you know that you're going to share it with all of your heart and maybe you've even started doing that, but it's not getting anywhere. Your reach isn't going further. You're definitely not monetizing and you don't know how to connect your message with something that can actually help people and something that people would actually want to buy from you. Hello, my loves. Welcome back to a brand new episode. I am freshly back from the beach. I'm feeling actually extremely beachy today in an all white outfit. Summer is definitely in the air and I cannot explain to you how much beautiful energy I receive from the ocean. There's nothing like a body of water that really, really brings me into alignment, gratefulness, overflowing abundance. I'm wondering what is your version of this? Definitely let me know in the comments. Is it nature? Is it the forest? Is it a big old lake? Is it urban? A lot of my clients say urban life actually gives them that energy of just like, oh, feeling so good in the hustle and feeling so part of this big, beautiful world with so many incredible opportunities that surround us always. So I am back from the ocean and I am so excited to sit down with everybody today because I want to share on the next phase of planning into operations. So if you watch the video that we put up on YouTube around how we create a strategic planning day, so many of you just loved it and messaged me saying how it has inspired you to do the same, which is so awesome. I think I mentioned it even in the vlog that whenever I post something like this, there's always a handful of you, or there was more than this time, saying that it was the exact reminder that you needed to sit down and just scope out not even just the rest of this year but also thinking beyond that 12 months three years five years what direction are you headed in where is your north star is it still on the cards for you to do certain things or to desire certain things or does that just sort of feel like it's not as charged anymore and it is time for a new dream and it's time for a new plan so anyway that was all of last week we did a really big first day getting everything out on paper then for the next couple of days because I had my client calls mastermind calls etc we visited it every so often a couple of hours a day and then by last week we felt really schmick about where things have landed, very clear with the direction of the business. So now this week is all about operational flow. And what does that mean? It means getting shit done, putting it into a 90 day plan, putting it into a 30 day action planning type of situation and really almost building out day by day the flow of tasks that need to be done so that we're hitting the goals that we want to hit. And I don't want you to mistake this for feeling too regimented in the operations because it does always get to feel like flow, especially if you're linking it to that bigger picture. And especially if you're always coming back to even if I'm doing something that doesn't feel so easy, it doesn't mean that I'm not meant to do it. It means that I'm headed towards a different direction and it's not super easy to turn around a direction straight away. Often it's about the time and the energy and the momentum you put behind something that it actually turns towards the direction that you want it to. Like what always comes to mind is a massive cruise ship. And if it's like, oh my goodness, we're so, you know, we're one degree off from where we want to be. It's not like you can immediately get back on track. Even with one degree, there's still a slow but sure turn of momentum and energy to get the cruise ship moving towards where you want it to go. So with that being said, oh my gosh, oodles and oodles of clarity, fame levels of clarity. A bit of a side note, I was so inspired by coming out of my fame level of clarity exercise that I have decided to host an in-person workshop in Melbourne, Australia. So if you're listening and you're from Melbourne, we have nine tickets left to come and attend my in-person three and a half hour Melbourne workshop where I'm literally going to be running through step by step how you can create your own fame level of clarity business plan for the next 12 months and beyond. It's going to be so incredible. I'm already looking at the list of amazing business owners that are coming. Some I know really well, some are brand new to me, and I think we're just going to have such a red hot, amazing time together. I'll leave the link in the show notes below if you want to come along. It's in October. So hopefully you will be around in October. I also have people who are flying into Melbourne for the event. And honestly, the vision for me with these events is to take it worldwide. Next year, I feel a big part of 
of our strategy is to do more in-person workshops all around the world. And I'm going to be hosting one in Melbourne, Byron Bay, Brisbane, Sydney in Australia over the next little bit. And then we're going to move it overseas next year. There's going to be another tour in the USA, another tour in the UK. So, mm, so many juicy things that are unfolding and definitely coming into fruition. The exercise that I actually want to share today as we deep dive into an aspect of the operational plan is how you can gain more clarity around your message, which will then lead to the products and the services that you're creating for the next iteration of your business. And also Also, of course, how to draw in your most aligned audience and clients who literally show up and are ready to sign themselves up to whatever it is that you have to offer. This is one of my favorite exercises to kick off with inside of a mastermind container with me, or if you're working with me one-to-one, I will always ask you to start with this particular document and this exercise so that we have a roadmap, if you like, of where things are headed at top level. And the reason why I like starting with this exercise is because it really helps you think about not just what you want to do, but also what your clients want from you and how they perceive you, or ideally how you would like to be perceived by the market and potentially where the gaps are between that and what you want to deliver on. So I'm going to talk through this as best as I can. It is a very visual exercise, but go with me and on YouTube, I will show you the end result of what mine looks like as well. So grab yourself a piece of paper, or if you're someone who loves to work on Canva, for example, What we want to do is draw three circles and create a Venn diagram. So three overlapping circles in the shape of almost like a triangle. So two at the top and one at the bottom or however it is that you like to draw it. And we want the circles to overlap so that there's three overlapping sections. And inside of each of those circles, I want you to number them one, two, and three. Now that we have our three circles, I want you to write down in no particular order, but your top three main reasons why someone would want to work with you. And I'm not talking about your energy. I'm talking about what you're teaching unless you are teaching energy, of course, but we want to get really specific. So, you know, one circle could say financial planning. Another circle could say budgeting. Another circle could say money mindset. For example, if you're in the health and wellness industry, one circle might say nutrition. Another circle might say fitness and a third circle might say inner peace or inner well-being, something like that, where ideally you've got two big tangible areas that you're able to teach on. And then the third one is typically mindset and inner work. So for example, with my diagram, I have unapologetically you, energetic agility, which is about moving through the tough shit, resilience, the shadow work, and just getting into that energy of performance and grit, like that real beautiful energy of let's go get it. And then the third one is all about structure within the flow. So what pulls the business together? What do we have behind the scenes? Social media, funnels, email set up, things like that. And what helps the business run in order for it to flow so much better? The financial systems, everything along those lines. These three areas are hopefully what my clients want to hear from me, learn from me, and generally just be in my energy for. And maybe you've even just heard me say a couple of those areas and you're like, yes, I want to learn how to be unapologetic me. And I want to learn how to show up as completely not worried about what people think and stop with the comparison. That might be more you. Second area is about grit and determination. If you're someone who typically kind of gives up easily, or you just feel like you just don't have that inner drive for whatever reason, and you seek more accountability in your business, this is a really great space for you to then come in and speak to me about how you can bring that in further. And maybe for some of you, if you already have this amazing grit and determination, and you have a message that you really want to share and you know that you're going to share it with all of your heart and maybe you've even started doing that, but it's not getting anywhere. Your reach isn't going further. You're definitely not monetizing and you don't know how to connect your message with something that can actually help people and something that people would actually want to buy from you. Then you're coming to me for the structure within the flow. 
Do you see how these three areas have so easily helped me connect a message with you? And I've been able to speak about it without looking at notes. I'm now able to recall it in my mind's eye very easily. I can actually see the entire Venn diagram in my head right now. And I'm also able to see because the next step from here is to actually build out what that particular client is feeling. And I'm able to see all of those feelings and thoughts and emotions. I must have written out about 150 different thoughts, feelings and emotions that my ideal client is feeling at any one point in time or at certain levels in their business, certain times of the month, for example. This exercise is going to get you so clear on what it is that you actually also want to share and sell and monetize and create for your audience. Because if you're able to get this right, you're able to bridge the gap between how they're feeling, where they are right now. And by the way, where they are doesn't have to be pain and suffering. Where they are can be going from a sense of good to great, like that very famous book. You know, it's they are going from things are okay, but I want it to go from okay to magnificent. So sometimes when we think about marketing in a very traditional standpoint, it can still feel very yuck because you're constantly pain marketing. The way that I like to approach it in my business is I get it. Like things aren't morbid and things aren't all falling apart, but you're just here because you want to really get it to the next three to five levels that you know you could, but there's just something that's really missing in terms of that bridge. So take a pause here. And if you need to re-listen to that previous bit, definitely do that. I understand in audio version or even just a little bit here on video, it's not completely the easiest, but you will come up with the version of it that works best for you or come to the Melbourne workshop, book in a VIP half day with me and we can do this together. That might be another little calling if that's what you're wanting to do. I definitely would love to be able to see you inside of a 90 minute strategy session. We can definitely unfold so much together in that time and get you so crystal clear on where does the clarity move from here. Now for me, if I go back to the Venn diagram and we talk about the 150 different emotions. Here is how I would break it down even further. So this is the next part of the exercise. I want you to look at two of the three areas. So let's say in my case, I'm looking at someone who has an unapologetic brand and they are completely all of themselves and they know what they stand for and they know what they want to teach in this world and they have structure within their business. So they might have a freebie opt-in or they might already have an amazing cool website with some boosted ads running behind it and they're getting some clients flowing in and they're definitely seeing that momentum of money flow, whether it's one, two, 5K, 10K, that's already coming in through their company. But they know that where they fall over is thinking about how to scale that out. And for a lot of my clients, where they sort of get to is from a scalability standpoint, let's say client A is amazing at creating an opt-in that leads to a mini course course and the mini course is selling so well off the back of a killer funnel and she's putting a hundred dollars a day into the funnel itself and it's just producing all of this profit and let's say there's an inkling for this person to then go ahead and create a group program a live mastermind of some kind or even an in-person live event and they know that that's what's going to take their company to that next level and they know that's what's going to take their reach and their connection their community building to the next stage but there's so much fear around what would happen if no one showed up, no one signed up, if it's a massive flop and failure, because there's this comfort behind knowing that if something's running passively in the background, no one ever really needs to know your results. Whereas if you're someone who's really put yourself out there and you're holding group sessions or you're running a workshop like myself in Melbourne, there's of course always going to be that fear of numbers and whether there's enough people who want the thing that you are teaching, i.e. do you have enough demand for people to actually want to put time aside to show up in a group environment and to coach with you live. This is where the third pillar that I was referring to earlier, energetic agility comes into play. So then I would list out all the things that they're feeling, fear, doubt, insecurity, their message might not be as strong so that it's not 
particularly attracting people who want to coach with them in a live environment. Their branding might be excellent from a point of view of downloading something that's worth a little bit less, so to speak, you know, like a smaller offering. But for those type of clients to then go from, let's say, a $100 offer into a $10,000 offer, there just doesn't seem to be that connection. And a lot of this comes from that inner belief, inner worth type of conversation. And that's where energetic agility as a pillar of mine comes into play, helping them step further into their worth of knowing how much that they are meant to be scaling out their company so that they're able to have a further impact in this world. So think about with each of your pillars, if they have two elements, but not the third one, what is that particular person feeling and move around the circles until you've done all three. You will absolutely have so much content that flows from this. So many many aha moments, light bulb moments around what particular areas that you're not yet filling the gap in, even though you want to coach, mentor and teach on something like this and realizing that you don't actually have anything for your audience to really you know, soak into and learn from. This one exercise has completely changed my business. I learned it, oh my goodness, so long ago in business school and it's just come back in the most divine timing and in the best way. And if you do do this, then definitely let me know if this has really helped. I'm going to leave more diagrams and things like that on my YouTube channel. So if you are listening the audio version via, you know, the podcast, I definitely want to encourage you for this particular episode to come to my YouTube channel. So subscribe to it because there's going to be more of these and you can actually see me building this out and you know, you'll be able to see the examples, which is I think almost so much easier to grasp. Um, Once again, If you are wanting to either hang out with me in person in Melbourne or any of my other workshops that I'm taking on the road over Australia and the world between now and the end of next year, then definitely stay tuned to all of my channels, subscribe to YouTube, subscribe to the podcast, and definitely come follow me on Instagram where I typically make all of my announcements first. And if you want to book in a one-to-one private 90-minute fame level of clarity workshop with me, I will also leave the link in the show notes. My calendar is open for you to book into. I think it's going to be extremely popular. So definitely get in as soon as you find a time that you love. And I hope you loved this one. I know I sort of ran through it in a way that hopefully just gave you some inspired action, motivation type of energy. And I will catch you in the next episode. Okay. Bye, my loves.